Hi and welcome to my video part of the uh, soldering iron review. I'll just show you what's included in the box. So the box arrives like this. Nice frustration free packaging. Inside you've got a very comprehensive manual which goes over everything you need to know to solder and a uh, list of soldering tips that are available. You have some solder, a quality control certificate, a soldering stand, a bag of five soldering tips, a solder sucker, and of course the soldering iron itself. Uh, the soldering iron's a, got a nice feel to it, it's got a nice rubber texture down here so it's very comfortable to hold. You have temperature adjustments on here, so these buttons will be to raise and lower the temperature. Um, you can easily swap the tips out on this, so all you do is simply unscrew this barrel nut, remove the sheath and remove the tip. You can then quickly swap it out for one of the other tips. Right, we'll move on to a uh, quick demonstration. I've actually found something that needs to be soldered. I had a 12 volt power supply which wasn't working, so I've opened it up and I've noticed that one of the leads from the uh, plug itself has come loose. So I'm just going to solder that back together. So I'll just get a solder mat out and uh, get it everything prepped. I'll be back in a second. So I've now got my third hand set up holding the wire where I need it to onto the neutral terminal of the plug. I'm just going to swap the tip of the soldering iron out first as I prefer a nice chisel head. This gives it more thermal dynamics, it holds a lot more heat and it makes the uh, job a lot easier. So I'm going to go with the tapered chisel head. As the uh, neutral plug's quite a big chunk of metal it needs to heat up quite considerably so something that will hold a lot of heat will uh, certainly help with that task. So as I mentioned earlier simply unscrew the barrel connector, slide the sheath off, slide the old tip off and slide the new one on. As with all new tips the first thing you need to do is tin the tip. This is getting some solder on the tip and then just literally flicking it off. It helps the uh, solder flow when you actually work and it means that it won't stick to the tip itself. So we'll just go ahead and turn the solder iron on. When you turn it on you are presented with a, let's see if I can zoom into it, with an LED display, LCD display which shows you the temperature. So I'm going to up this to I think about 350 degrees for this because I want to get it quite hot. As you can see it's flicking between two temperatures, that's the temperature you've set which at the moment is 232 and the temperature that the soldering iron's at so I think it's actually at 232 at the moment as well. So we'll just up this to 350 so you do this by holding down the yellow button and a long press will uh, move it a lot quicker so I'm at 354, so in a second it'll show me what temperature the soldering iron is at 293. So it won't take long to get to the correct temperature. So we want 354 and it's at 354 now. So we'll give this a go with tinning and uh, tin the tip. So I'll just zoom back out. As I mentioned, you simply just cover the tip in solder and then just flick it off. And that's the tin uh, that's the tip tinned. It's always good practice to do that with new soldering irons. I'll place that back in the uh, stand. I'm just going to move you over to the other side so you can see a bit more detail on uh, on me soldering this wire. 
So I've um, now set up the camera where you'll be able to see me trying to solder this uh, piece of wire back onto the neutral plug. As I mentioned earlier, because the neutral plug quite, is quite a uh, chunky piece of metal, I needed the nice chisel tip which will hold a lot of um, temperature and um, a temperature of about 300 degrees, 350 degrees I'm using. I'll try and get in here, it's not the easiest due to its position, so I'll just try and get some heat on there. I'm aiming to actually heat up the the plug itself, the, uh, the metal on the plug, as opposed to the uh, put the solder on the soldering iron. All right, we'll see if that's held. There we go, it wasn't the easiest angle to get in but I have got a, uh, a successful solder on there. So I'll just uh, give that a go at testing in a second, I'll reassemble this plug and see if it's now working. So I've now plugged my digital multimeter in and I have powered up the plug. I'm hoping for a reading of 12 volts. So let's see if the transformer is now working, hopefully it was just that loose wire that was causing the issue. And there we go, 12.19 volts. A nice repair on the 12 volt transformer. So back to the soldering iron, I do like quite a few of the features on it. I really like how easy it is to swap the tips around, that is, that is a nice feature and it's something which is trickier on other soldering irons I own. I like the digital display, I really like being able to change it with the buttons as opposed to a little knob dial which aren't always that accurate. I really like that it tells you what temperature it's at, so you know easily when, uh, easily and quickly once it's reached the temperature that uh, you want to be working at. Uh, overall, comfortable soldering iron to use, and uh, a great product. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.